Apologies in advance, but for some reason there's some weird glitching going on with this video. Don't know why that's happened. I think my capture device is on the way out. But sadly, it does happen a few times in the early part of this video. But it does clear up towards the end of the video. But if that's not good enough for you, then I completely understand if you don't want to watch the video. Just thought I'd let you know in advance. Anyway, apologies. Thanks if you do continue to watch. <laughs> Greetings sentient lifeforms, I'm Swifto, and this is Neon Drive, a game which came out, I think, 2016. Doesn't seem that long ago. I got it uh, when it was fairly new, and I've been wanting to do a gameplay of it for years and just never got round to it. Until now. So let's just start it. Start. What's wrong with my controller? There we go. Ha! As you can see, it's got a sort of 80s retro um, aesthetic to it and uh, just ignore the strangely sexy robot there, I don't know what that's about she just stands there judging you quietly and there's no way to interact with her just like me with real women but never mind so here we have these arcade machines which are all the different levels you get and um, yeah, when I first got this, I thought it was going to be a racing game, but it's actually not. It's uh, a rhythm game. I'll just go on this first level, as you'll be able to see. And basically, the controls are very simple. You move left or right to avoid the objects. And I think you need. It's one of those games where you have to memorize the track and um, listen to the the sound of the beat to get good at the game and I'm really terrible at this game gotta be honest with you I don't really like rhythm games and uh, yeah when I bought this at first I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't a racing game should have read the details more uh, closely I think a lot of people <laughs> were tricked into thinking it was a racing game but you know what even though I don't really like rhythm games myself I do actually really like this game. I just recently started to get back into it and it's quite addictive actually. Once you get into the flow of it. But that's pretty much all there is to the game. You just slide around, move to avoid the objects. But the cool thing about this game is each level is different and you've got different themes for each level. I think I just said the same thing twice, never mind. But I'll show you some of the cool sort of... Um, themes you get for the different levels but I'll just try and oh shit I messed up this is only the first level as well <laughs> it's a lot harder to play when you're talking of course as the excuse I always use for these gameplay videos just avoid the cars now I'm trying to concentrate I can't talk as much ah oh, these yellow cars are devious don't like the yellow cars like there's couple of bits here where it traps you. You've got to be careful. Where are they? See if I can avoid it. If I can. Oh, there, there, that bit there. Oh, and that bit too. That's the other bit. Fuck. Oh, now I have to start again. Not too well. <laughs> this is only the first level. Doesn't bode well for the rest of the gameplay. Hey ho, I'm just showing off the game, I'm not trying to show off my expert skills because I don't have any. I'm zero skilled at all things in life, especially talking. It's got some cool music to it too as well. And um, it was a thing for a while, I'm not sure if it's still that popular but there seem to be a whole load of uh, these sort of smaller indie games going for that retro 80s um, style this is one of them catching on with that trend is that still a thing? I don't know, I kind of like it, all the sort of neon shit but for a while it seemed like every <coughs> 
indie game was doing pretty much the exact same thing. I have quite a few of these games where it's like, oh, it's another one in these strange neon worlds. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll show you this one because I really like this one. You might be able to see the artwork on the um, arcade machine there. It might remind you of something. Let's just get into it. You get hard mode and insane mode as well, but as I say, I'm rubbish at this game, so I'll just play on easy. And I just saw my license plate there. I forgot I called myself fart. <laughs> oh, I'm so mature. I'm a mature 33 year old turd. <laughs> 33 is just the funniest number, isn't it? Well, there's 69, of course, but uh, it's overused. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get onto the cool bit here and show you what I'm talking about. If uh, Kevin of Down the Rabbit Hole ever sees this video, I'm sure he'll get a kick out of this. Because I know he's a fan of this particular movie series. Is that movie series? I guess so. There's, there's two films. Anyway, here we go. It's Blade Runner, isn't it? So now we're flying about on a floaty fly car, and this bit gets really difficult because you've got no track to um, see by. Ah, see, yeah. I just suck at this. Oh, you guys are idiots, you're going the wrong way. Am I the only sane person in this city? Yeah, I'm rubbish. I do apologise. Right. No, 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 that's not what you do. And there's a bit of slow down there, I'm not sure what's going on there. What happened there? That's never happened before. <sighs> Some of the other levels are so insane. You gotta be really fast with your finger. Like I say, very simple control system, but gotta be quick. My name is Ironic. I am not very swift. And for some reason it's slowing down. I'm not sure why it's doing that. That's never happened before. Maybe my computer's doing something in the background, you know, Windows. <sighs> Probably be another fucking update. Sick of these updates. But who isn't? No, I'm not doing very well here. I'm, I do apologise, but I'll just show off some of the other levels. Uh, oh, this one I'd really like to show off, but it's extremely difficult. See, I haven't even completed it yet. Although I've just started recently replaying this. I did get 100% on the game many years ago. But not recently. It'd be cool if we could get past this bit though, because then I could show you what there is to be shown. Oh no. Because I'm talking, I'm not listening to the rhythm of the music. Tell you what I could do, I could put it on practice mode, then it doesn't matter. Not much of a game then though. Yeah, I'll just put it in practice mode, just because I want to show you the cool thing about this level. Or is it free run? I can't remember. Oh, it must be because... Uh... Oh no, they're both locked! Alright, oh, you have to complete normal before you get the... Ah, oh, shit. Didn't think of that. Let's see if we can do it anyway. Might need to be a bit quiet for a while. While I focus. Now this is pod racing. Getting intenser. Well actually this isn't too bad. There's one level which I've never been able to complete. It's not this one, it's a different one. But here we go, with this level, it's a transformer. Now this gets a bit weird with the controls. 
because you're still using left and right, but it's like hold down left to slide. Feels a bit weird, but if you like your transformer, oh no, that's not sliding it. <laughs> ah, fuck. Well, I've shown you that anyway. Let's show you off uh, another level. I think this one was later added. This wasn't in the game originally, this one. This one is extremely hard. Just like your mum's penis. Anyway, let's go. do really like the music in this one though. Oh, this is too intense for me. I've already messed it up. Don't know how people manage to 100% this game. Got faster reflexes than I'll ever have. That's for sure. Ah, bugger. Ah, no, I'm not gonna do it. Cause I'm recording, you see. But there's also an endurance mode here where you can uh, just play all the levels consecutively. And, um, yeah. This is just the first level again, I've already shown you that. Why don't I show off... Oh, the second level's quite fun. I think. Let's go. Cool. So that's basically all there is to the game. Got eight levels there. Can't remember if you any um, that you can unlock. Don't think so. And you basically just press left and right to the rhythm of the song and avoid all the obstacles. Like you're not pressing down A for acceleration or anything like that. It just goes by itself. Once you get into the zone though, it can be quite addicting to play this game. Like I said, I've played more of it before in the past, just recently picked it up and um, yeah, I've got to relearn all the levels again. It's really one of those level uh, games that uh, reward you for memorizing the levels. Shit. There's also another level which is uh, Space Invaders inspired. I don't want to give away all the spoilers here. Just showing off a bit of the game. I highly recommend it if you like these sort of rhythm games. Like I said already, I'm not really huge fan of rhythm games, but this one I do really like. I guess for the music and the aesthetics. And I think it's fairly cheap on a uh, Steam. Not sure if it's available anywhere else. I haven't Steam. So yeah, if you like the look of it, I'd recommend it. Just bear in mind that it's not a racing game as I originally thought. It is a rhythm game. And a pretty good one at that. There we go. I apologise that I'm so terrible at this game. But hey ho! Just wanted to do this little gameplay to show you this nice little retro inspired game. There's the Space Invaders one there. I won't play that today, but it's uh, highly addictive and very recommended. All right, I've been Swifto playing Neo Drive. Adios, fine sentient life forms, and goodbye.